Hello everyone, it is Easter Sunday, so I thought I'd give you an Easter themed story, except for it's not really Easter themed. It's just based on one of those symbols we think of when we think of Easter. I don't know why we think of it, I don't know how it has anything to do with Jesus rising from the dead, but the rabbit. And this is a traditional folk tale from the Mi'kmaq tribe in Canada and it's how the rabbit got long ears. Spring winds wafted down from strong mountain and across calm water. The coon splashed in the shallow water along the sandy shoreline. Blue jays sang from the budding apple tree. Red fox chased butterfly along the pebbly beach. Rabbit with tiny ears, just like his cousin squirrel, border plane in the meadow flowers, decided to play a fun trick on his friends. He told Squirrel, I heard the sun's not going to rise after today. Squirrel stopped playing tag with his brothers in the old oak stump. Anxiously, they started gathering acorns and telling everyone the horrible news. He told his little cousin Chipmunk, who told his best friend Raccoon, who told Red Fox. Raccoon stopped splashing in the water and rummaged for berries. Blue Jay stopped singing and gathered corn kernels. Red Fox stopped chasing butterfly and dusted his den. Rabbit watched from his hiding spot in the tall grass. He laughed at everyone acting so silly. Spring just started. Winter wouldn't return for many moons. Great Father came to the edge of calm water, concerned all his beloved animals no longer playing and laughing in the warm sunshine. Raccoon, why are you storing berries? Great Father asked, but Raccoon waddled over to another bush. As Blue Jay flew past, Great Father called out, Why are you gathering kernels? Red Fox! Why are you not enjoying the sunshine with butterfly in the grassy meadow? Red Fox stopped sweeping his den and stood tall to talk to Great Father. Didn't you hear? After today, the sun will stop shining. Who told you such a lie? Red Fox tucked his tail and curled his shoulders down. Red Fox, stand proud, Great Father said. Someone has told you lie. From the centre of Grassy Meadow, Great Father called all the animals around. Quickly, I must find out who told this wicked lie. All the animals, including Raccoon, Blue Jay, Chipmunk and Butterfly, gathered at Great Father's feet. The story you heard is not true. The sun will rise tomorrow and all the following days for many moons. The animals looked from one to another. Now who told you this, Red Fox? Red Fox said he heard it from Raccoon. Raccoon heard it from Chipmunk, who heard it from Squirrel. Squirrel, be brave and tell us all who told you this wicked lie. Great Father cradled him in his hands. Squirrel whispered in his ear, Rabbit! Rabbit! Where is Rabbit? Great Father ground. A faint snicker came from the tall grass. Great Father placed Squirrel back on the old oak stump and walked toward the laughter. Hiding in the tall grass, he found Rabbit. No lying in grassy meadow! Great Father roared. From now on, Rabbit will no longer be able to hide in the tall grass. And he picked up Rabbit by his tiny ears. Rabbit's laughter turned to yips of pain as his ear grew two times, three times, four times in size. Today, Rabbits still yip in pain when their ears are tugged as a reminder never to tell a lie.